Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you how to create this very beautiful quilt necklace with these beautiful earring pairs. And this is very intricate and very easy to create. So, let's get started. For this we need scissors, quilling tool, liquid glue, some colored beads, plier, eye pins, jump rings and some multicolored 2mm quilling strips. So I am starting with my first flower. First I will show you how to create this Malaysian flower petal. For this we need one strip of off white and one strip of blue and I am making Malaysian flower petal. Now I am wrapping this petal using dark purple color strip. Secure the end using glue. In the same way I have created six more petals so in total we need seven petals now I'm joining all seven petals and creating the flower now for the center of this flower I'm making one more small flower and for this I'm taking half strip of light green color this is also known as pista green color and here I am creating one small teardrop shape. Now I am joining 7 small teardrops and making one more small flower. Now I am connecting this small flower inside this Malaysian flower. And for the center of the flower I am taking half strip of green and half strip of dark purple and making one tight coil. So the center pendant flower for the necklace is ready. Now for this next flower I am taking half strip of green color and making one leaf shape. Now joining all 5 petals. For the center of the flower I am taking one fourth strip of dark purple and making one tight coil. So this is done we need two flowers. Now for the next flower I am taking half strip of blue color and I am making one small teardrop shape. Now I am joining total 12 petals to create this flower.
For the center of the flower, I am taking one strip of off-white color. And also I am wrapping half strip of green color with this. So the flower is ready. Now for the next flower, I have already created one semicircle strip using half strip of pista green color and one leaf shape petal using one fourth strip of dark purple. So I am making one more semicircle pista color petal. So for this I am taking half strip of pista color and making one semicircle. Now I am joining all three parts together to create the petal. Now I am wrapping this whole petal using green color strip. Now I am joining all 6 petals together. For the center of the flower I am taking one strip of light blue color and I am making one tight coil. So this is also done. Now for the last flower, this is a very small size flower. I am taking one fourth strip of dark purple and making one teardrop shape. And I will join 4 teardrops together and for the center of the flower I am taking one tight coil which is made using one fourth strip of off white color. So we need total two this kind of flowers. Now I will show you how to create these connecting bead loops. For this I am taking this turquoise color bead. Just insert one eye pin through this. Cut excess wire and just bend it using plier. In the same way I have created two more beads. Now take one jump ring and I am just creating the chain of beads here. So insert two bead loops through this jump ring, secure it. Then take one more jump ring, insert one more loop bead and connect with other side chain and just secure it so you will get this type of bead chain in the same way I have created one more bead chain now I have created one more bead loop take one jump ring insert through this and I am inserting this jump ring through the center flower petal 
so that will work like a pendant of the necklace here i am taking the same color combination beads as i took for the flowers so you can change your color combination as your choice you can also take pearls instead of beads now i will just join all the flowers and construct my design of necklace Let it dry. So it's completely dry. Now I have filled some gaps using some different size tight coils to make it more sturdy. Like this, you can fill any gap according to the size and requirement. Now I am filling all small gaps and large gaps using my liquid glue to make it more sturdy and so that you can easily use it. in your parties so just fill each and every gap using glue and i am just spreading it using my brush you can also use paper varnish for more sturdiness now take back your bead chain i am taking half strip of light blue color and making one tight coil just insert one jump ring through this and insert from one side chain just secure this jump ring like this in the same way i have added tight coil with other chain Now I will just connect these chains with the necklace design. So using little glue you can just connect this blue color tight coil with your necklace. Let it completely dry. So it's dried. Now I'm taking my metal chain for the back side of your necklace. I'm just connecting the chain with my necklace using jump ring from both the sides. For other side, first insert your jump ring and for the locking purpose, I am just inserting one metal lock inside this jump ring. Again secure it. and it's ready to use you just need to open the lock and insert this loop so the necklace is ready now i'm proceeding for the earring so i will show you this cute tiny mini earring again i am making one small malaysian flower so for the petal i am taking half strip of light blue and one fourth strip of off white color and making one small malaysian flower petal Now wrapping this whole petal using small piece of dark purple strip. Now I'm joining all six petals together.
for center of the flower i am adding half strip green color tight coil and on top of this i am adding one fourth strip dark purple tight coil so flower is ready i have also created one small off white color one fourth strip tight coil and i am just inserting one jump ring through this and insert your earring hook add little glue and connect the tight coil with the flower in the same way i have created one more by adding this bead loop and one more tight coil using jump ring so i'm connecting it on other side of the flower allow it to dry completely so the beautiful quill necklace with the earrings are ready you can use these for the parties and show your friends your different handmade styles so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications thanks for watching see you next time bye bye